Two of the hottest tech careers right now are software engineering and computer science. Are they the same thing? What kind of job opportunities are out there for each one? Which one is the better choice? In this video, we'll be answering all of those questions and talking about each of these awesome careers and the differences between them. Okay, so real quick, my team and I are trying to get to a pie amount of likes on this video. Get it? 314 likes. So don't forget to hit that like button. First, let's talk about the most important thing, job outlook. How is the future looking for both of these careers? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, computer science jobs are expected to grow by 15% between the years 2019 and 2029. If you ask me, that is huge growth. Now, if you think that's impressive, wait till you hear this. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, jobs for software engineers are expected to increase by 22% between the years of 2019 and 2029. I'm not sure if there's a career out there with a better projection than this in a 10 year span, honestly. Well, clearly, both of these are great career prospects with a positive outlook. So what about job opportunities? What kind of jobs are out there right now that you could apply to if you decided to go down the path of one of these two careers? All right, so here's what comes up when we look for computer scientist jobs. There are a ton of jobs out there, and specifically this one is for the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency. Pretty rewarding salary, and here are all the requirements for that job. And if we scroll down, we get another computer scientist job at Adobe in San Jose, California. Again, a very rewarding salary. And if we keep scrolling, there are a ton of jobs out there. I mean, there are pages of jobs. So when we look for software engineering jobs, again, a whole lot of jobs out there for software engineers. This one is really cool because it's for Amazon and it's remote and it has an awesome salary as well. I mean, you can literally work from anywhere and here are all the descriptions of the job. And if we scroll down, we see again, a ton of jobs. Here's for a more senior position, a job at Netflix, remote again, um, with you could have the ability to make up to $163,000 pretty awesome and again pages of jobs so when we talk about location it really depends on the company you work for but both of these careers have a lot of opportunities for remote work what this means is that you could literally work from anywhere as long as you have a computer and good internet connection this can free you from the dreaded rush hour traffic unhealthy lunches, or maybe even owning a car at all. I know if I didn't have to commute to work, I would seriously reconsider owning a car because of the depreciation costs, the insurance costs, and everything else that comes with owning a car. Okay, so what exactly is the difference between these two careers? Well, if you go down the software engineering route, guess what you'll deal with? Software. As a software engineer, you'll likely work on software design, software testing, development, debugging, or programming. Depending on how big the company is and how your role is structured, you may focus more on one area or you may work on different aspects of a project and on multiple different projects. So what I'm trying to tell you is that the company you work for will take a big role in how your job is actually structured. In comparison, computer scientists work on developing systems that people will use to interact with software or programs. One common misconception is that computer scientists work on developing or building computer hardware, which is rarely the case as we saw from our job examples earlier in the video. So now a question for you, what company would you work for if you decided to become a computer scientist or software engineer? Drop them in the comments below. I know that if I were looking for a tech job, I would love to work for Microsoft because of their company culture and the really cool projects they're currently working on. Just know that if you pick either of those careers, you will likely have a high paying job and a very fulfilling and interesting one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to thank you for learning with me here on the Seminist Network. And don't forget, your biggest limitation is yourself. Be the best you can be.